Flatbed Gang, what it do? What it do, Mr. Flatbed Gang? Flatbed Gang alumni checking in in the building. Let me give another shout out to my boy Tyler Duncan. Just got hired on a PNS. Got the same dispatcher as your boy out of Emporia. Money team. So now I got me, my boy Jimmy. Now I got Tyler. All got the same DM. Yeah, money team. I ain't talking about TMC, money crew. Money team PNS. I ain't really getting no footage this week. I was doing dropping hooks. I got one live load, but uh, it was like fast paced. Boom, boom, boom. I had to get in and out. So I ain't getting no footage, man. So really ain't got nothing to tell y'all, man. But I do got something to tell you. And I think this will come in handy for, you know, some of y'all guys that uh, anybody really. If you're in a freight liner, I don't know, but I don't know how it might work in the other trucks. Right now, you know my truck is idling right now because you know what's 96 degrees outside, it's idling. But I've been up north for like all week. I just came back down south yesterday. Today's Friday, but I've been up north all week. So I mean, it was pretty cool. I didn't want to idle. I ain't need the AC. But if you need some heat, you know, you need some heat. But you can't idle. Can't idle when it's cold because the truck won't cut off. You cut it on, but it's only gonna run about 10 minutes at the most. You might get 15 minutes out of it, but it's gonna cut off though. And even if it runs while you, when you first lay down, you might wake up in the middle of the night and the truck cut off. So my other buddy, Aaron, that also works at PNS, he ain't on the money, he ain't on the money team because he got a different dispatcher. He got a dispatcher out of uh, Nashville. He ain't over here with us, with, with me, Jimmy, and now my new buddy Tyler, he ain't over here with us. And uh, yeah, I don't know where he at. I don't know who else got Vicky as a dis. Well, I don't know who else got the same dispatch that we got. I just know them two got the same dispatch. So it's probably a couple of other guys that got her that maybe y'all watch me, but that's, yeah, my DM is out of Emporia. So I'm gonna show y'all how to operate this damn bump heater on this Freightliner. That's the whole point of this video. Show you how to operate this damn bunk heater. Let's go back here to the back. Nobody, nobody showed me how to operate it. I just learned on my own. Trial and error. I was just in here kept when I first got the truck. Cause you know I came from. I was over there uh, Hornady. Well, I was at Melton too, but my truck at Melton it idled. My truck at Hornady it idled. It I don't even think it had that little cut off thing on that one. So I didn't have to worry about it. When I came to PNS, I couldn't out them. So let's see if we can show y'all how to operate this thing real quick. Okay, right here, we have the bunk heater. You see power, I'm still out of it. But here's the bunk heater. Now, I do know you got a little twist thing right here. If you twist it, you see it light up. I don't know if y'all can read that. Uh, y'all can't y'all can't read it. Ain't no way I can fix that. But it got a little, little twist knob right here. Like if you can't see it, but like it's it's changing the temperature. Like right now it's on 65. If I turn it to the right, it goes up. So I turn it to five clicks, it's on 70. Okay, that ain't gonna work. But anyway, it, it got a button on the bottom. The button on the bottom is like a back button it takes you to the menu you go to the you, you hit you hit this button right here it's like back and it's also like enter so the button on the bottom you hit that first it's going to take you to a menu then you can scroll up to options but we don't want to okay let's see what we got in the options okay options you got duration okay i'm put line of continuous because my mine cuts off but that that's that ain't that ain't too that ain't that ain't the whole point of this video. LVD, I'm not sure what that one is. Let's see what LVD is. Oh, okay, that's like the voltage. I don't know nothing about that. But when you get to the main menu, you got two different modes. 
this button on the bottom is also like the inner button. So, if I, so right now I scrolled up the mode. So I'm gonna hit this bottom button. It's gonna take me to the mode. You got heat and you got vent. Heat on top, vent on bottom. All you gotta do is just scroll this little thing. So right now, just for the video purpose, I'm gonna put it on vent. Hit the, I got right now I got it on vent. Go we'll hit the button at the bottom to select the vent. Now it's on vent. Hit, hit the enter button to go all the way back out. So now I got it back on 75 degrees. Now watch this. Now I'm gonna hit the button on the top. When I hit this button, boom, you see it light up blue? It lit up blue. All you gotta do, you can't control the temperature. All you can do on, on the blue is control like uh, the, 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 uh, the strength of the fan. So you got low, medium, high. That's all you can do, low, medium, high. That's on cool. I didn't even show y'all the I didn't even show y'all the uh the actual thing. Let me show you. I gotta pick my bed up to show you. So hold on one second. See this right here. Let me show y'all this little bunk heater. There's the bunk heater right there. That's the bunk heater. It blows out right here. I don't know if you can hear it. If I put my hand right there, I can feel the air coming out. That's the bunk heater. Like when you use heat, like right here, I gotta move this. Some plastic. Just move that plastic out of the way. And I wouldn't have them shoes right there when it's on uh when it's on heat. So right now, we got it on mode. Well, we got it on cool mode. And it ain't doing a good job cooling. Cause just when I just when I was just over here a while ago, it was on 76. Now it's on 77. So okay. Showed you the cool. But we, ain't, we ain't worried about the cool, cause that cool ain't worth a damn anyway. We can idle for some AC when it get real hot. So I'ma hit this button on the top. I'ma cut it back off. You see I cut it off? Now, the grand finale. We wanna cut the damn heat on. So how we gonna do it? We gonna hit the button on the bottom. Take us back to the menu. Just hit it one time, it'll take you to the menu. You're going to see options, temp unit, language, and mode. Go back to mode, hit the button on the bottom, take you to another menu. Now you got vent and heat. So, okay, I'm going to click on heat. Heat. Now I'm going to hit the enter button to go back out. So now I'm back to the main menu. Now watch this. When I hit the button on top, guess what? It ain't going to turn blue. Watch this. Boom. It turned red. Now we got heat, heat mode. Now, the same knob on the AC or the, or the fan mode, it just uh, controls the strength of the fan. But on this one, it actually controls the temperature. Like, okay, let's take it down. Right now, it's on 41. That's that's the I just scrolled all the way down, 41. Now I'm gonna scroll all the way to the top and see how far it go up. Whoa, it went up to 95. But let me tell y'all this, drivers. Do not set that motherfucker on 95. Do not set it on 95. <laughs> Cause you know what's gonna happen? You gonna wake up in the middle of the night, you gonna be cold, you gonna set it on 95, and you gonna fall back asleep. Guess what's gonna happen? You gonna fucking wake up, and you gonna be motherfucking sweating like hell. That's what's gonna happen. So, that was just a little short video. I know you couldn't see it that good, but hey, I tried. Maybe it might help help somebody out. But I do know, the, hey, you gotta play with that thing, man. And like I said, don't set that heat on 95. Don't set it on 95, cause you gonna put it on 95, you gonna fall asleep. About an hour later, you gonna wake up, you gonna be sweating. You gonna have to open up the door of the truck. I ain't talking about rolling the window down. You gonna have to open the whole damn door. <laughs> Cause you gonna be fucking hot. Hey, put it on about 75. Put it on about 75 and get up under your covers and just wait for it to warm up. That's all you gotta do. And and I'm not for sure, I'm not, I'm not how true, I'm not how positive this statement is, but I think when you cut the engine back on, I think it might cut that off by itself, but I could be wrong. Cause I forgot to cut mine off before and I started driving. 
And then when I parked, I said, oh, it's, it cut off. So I don't, I'm not sure on that. But I do know that motherfucker will keep you warm at, at nighttime, though. I do know that. So, all right, Flatbed Gang, this video was sponsored by Powerade. It was also sponsored by Melton Truck Lines. Thanks for watching. Flatbed Gang, I'm out.